it works. Um, how it works. Step seven. We humbly asked him to remove our shortcomings. Character defects or shortcomings are those things that cause pain and misery all of our lives. If they continue, contributed to our health and happiness, we would not have come to such a state of desperation. We had to become ready to have God, as we understood him, remove these defects. Having decided that we want God to relieve us of the useless or destructive aspects of our personalities, we have arrived at the seventh step. We couldn't handle the ordeal of life all by ourselves. It wasn't made it wasn't until we made a real mess of our lives that we realized we couldn't do it alone. By admitting this, we achieved a glimpse of humil humility. This is the main ingredient of step 7. Humility is a result of getting honest with ourselves. We have practiced being honest since step, since step one. We accepted our addiction and powerlessness. We found a strength beyond ourselves and learned to rely on it. We examined our lives and discovered who we really are. To be truly humble is to accept and honestly try to be ourselves. None of, none of us is perfectly good or perfectly bad. We are people who have assets and liabilities. Most importantly, we're human. Humility is as much a part of staying clean as food and water are to staying alive. As our addiction progressed, we devoted our energy toward satisfying our material desires. All other needs were beyond our reach. We always wanted gratification of our basic desires. The seventh step is an action step, and it is time to ask God for help and relief. We have to understand that our way of thinking is not the, other, the only way. Other people can give us direction. When someone points out a shortcoming, our first reaction may be defensive. We must realize that we are not perfect. There will always be room for growth. If we truly want to be free, we will take a good look at input from fellow addicts. If the shortcomings we discover are real and we have a chance to be rid of them, we will sure, surely experience a sense of well-being. Some will want to get on their knees for this step. Some will be very quiet and others will put forth a great emotional effort to show intense willingness. The word humble applies because we approach this power greater than ourselves to ask for the freedom to live without the ex limitations of our past ways. Many of us are willing to work this step without reservations on pure blind faith. Because we are sick of what we have been doing and how we are feeling. Whatever works, we go all the way. This is our road to spiritual growth. We change every day. We gradually and carefully pull ourselves out of isolation and loneliness of addiction and into the mainstream of life. This growth is not the result of wishing, but of action and prayer. The main objective of step seven is to get out of ourselves and strive to achieve the will of our higher power. If we are careless and fail to grasp the spiritual meaning of this step, we may have difficulties and stir up old troubles. One danger is in being too hard on ourselves. Sharing with other recovering addicts will help us to avoid becoming morbidly serious about ourselves. Accepting the defects of others can help us to become humble and pave the way for our own defects to be relieved. God often works through those who care enough about recovery to help make us aware of, our, aware of our shortcomings. We have noticed that humility pays a big part in this program and our new way of life. 
we take our inventory, we become ready to let God remove our defects of character, we humbly ask Him to remove our shortcomings. This is our road to spiritual growth, and we will want to continue. We are ready for step eight.